All right, what's cracking? You know, we got to kick it off with the dead game. We got a leg day today. We're over here at SC Gym. My two favorite leg day exercises that I believe are the most functional are always going to be squats and always lunges, man. All the extra accessories are all good. I never knock them because I do like them too, like leg press, leg extension, hamstring curls, things like that. But I'll tell you this, when I squatted 925 in the gym, 903 in competition, I don't think I ever hit a leg, uh, machine or some other type of exercise besides squats um once that's all i used to hit is squats we would squat three days a week so to get stronger i'm just gonna say this to get stronger i didn't say to put size on but to get stronger legs um there's not much more than you need than, than some squats man squats are no joke and they're gonna be all around the best overall leg exercise for strength i mean they hit quads hamstrings ass everything i mean every muscle group, your core, because you have the weight on your back. So squats is gonna be the overall best leg exercise and that's why I'll always do that squat when I do legs because it's the best movement and as long as I can do it, my body can you know, physically do it. I'm doing squats for leg days, baby. So I'm never switching that up. I'll never just hit leg press or hack squats or all that bullshit. That shit's way easier than a squat. That's why people do it. People do hack squats, people do leg presses, people do all these other machines because they don't want to squat. They make excuses at their knees or their back. But the honest truth is, squat is hard. People don't want to squat, you know what I mean? And that's why to get a bigger squat and to get stronger, people will always ask, hey, how do I get a bigger squat? Fuck, try squatting three days a week. Trust me, your numbers will go up. But anyways, you know I gotta kick it off with the dead game, man. Uh, you know, get your dead game, strengthcartel.com. Best pre-workout on the market right here, man. Trust me. All I need, honestly, is one scoop of this shit before every workout, and I'm on a straight sick-ass one, man. <clears throat> Remember, we got 24 active ingredients, 350 milligrams of caffeine plus teacrim, plus green tea, which boosts it close up to 450 milligrams, 3,000 milligrams of citrulline, 5,200 milligrams of pump blend. We got 2,000 milligrams of uh, creatine. So this thing has it all, man. This is like a basically, that's why we call it Dead Game Max. This is basically like a super, super pre, man. A Superman pre-workout. You take this, you're gonna feel like Superman. So anyways, let's get them squats on, baby.
another warm up right here. Uh, next one will be a working set, but I'm gonna hit five sets of 10. That's what I've been doing on squats, just cause I'm nowhere near going heavy at all. I'm probably just gonna throw on two plates right now. And uh, actually 25 next, and hit 10, that'll be, that'll be my first working set, and then see how that feels, and then add some more 45, so. We're not going too heavy. Honestly, I'm just trying to stay healthy and build and build some leg, leg strength back. I don't really care about size because I don't really, you know, show my legs off too much. I just want them to be strong. So when I'm active and boxing and things like that, I got some strong legs. But um, yeah, like I said, even 225, I'm starting to be heavy. But just because I barely started getting back in the groove of squatting, I don't want to injure myself and have a setback, man. So make sure you guys take your time, man. It's a, it's a lifestyle, it's a marathon, and um, you know, the main thing is we want to stay in the game. You know what I mean? We don't want to be like the NFL, like they say, not for long. We want to stay in this shit for the long run. So, the goal is to stay as healthy as possible. You'll always have little injuries. Listen to your body, and uh, take your time. Let's go.
get a little bit more push. But yeah, it was hard. Look, I'm breaking a sweat. First real sweat I've had. Doing squats, I guess I was going to like. My hips are real tight on the outside. It's the only thing that worries me. I don't want to strain it because I had like tiny little strains, nothing serious. Uh, squatting and shit like that, but nothing bad. And I'm all good, just really tight. So I gotta get those worked on. But uh, yeah, still out of breath. Probably could have a belt on too. But uh, yeah, good squat session today. Now I got some lunges to finish it off. So like I said, you guys want to get stronger legs? Overall stronger squats, man. Full body workout and uh, make your legs strong, make them grow. So let's get these lunges. All right, so now we gotta finish with lunges. I'm gonna hit 20 lunges, three sets of 20 lunges, man. So let's get to it. Legs are killing me, but it's a finisher right here. If I was if I was a beast, I'd be like Ronnie. I straight throw on the. Uh, I remember he used to lunge with the barbell in the middle of the street. That was no joke. Like 225 too. Almost what I was freaking squatting right now. or 25 pound dumbbells. I got a little 50 pounds, so last set of 20.